Hello everyone, welcome to Bluebeam PDF Review. This tutorial is all about how to navigate in review. Let's get started by opening up a file. We can do that either by creating a brand new blank PDF by clicking this new button, clicking this open button to search our local and network drives for a PDF, or by clicking a file name here in the File Access tab, where I have a list of recently viewed PDFs. When I mouse over a recently viewed PDF, I get a preview of that PDF. I can also manage and organize my files in here too. It's pretty cool. But right now, let's just open the PDF. I want to point out that this video is shot in the CAD profile. You can change your profile or interface configuration by clicking the arrow next to the profile icon, which is represented by the man with the bow tie. Now that this PDF is open, you'll see that there's a tab up here that is displaying the file's name. I can have multiple PDFs open in review at the same time. I can open more files by right-clicking in this gray space and selecting Open, then searching my drives or I can open more files by clicking the file names here in the File Access tab, either in the Recent Files section, or by switching over here to the File Explorer. The File Explorer gives you complete access to your local and network drives. Of course, you can also open additional PDFs by going up to the File menu and selecting Open. You can have an unlimited number of PDFs open, and each will display a tab so you can quickly switch from viewing one to another. If I have many files open, the tab area may fill up. In that case, I can view open files by selecting their name in this drop-down menu. I can close a file by clicking this X in the tab, or by right-clicking the tab and selecting Close. Also, this X over here will close the active PDF. You can also view two different PDFs at the same time side by side. To do this, click this Split View button. I can split the view vertically or horizontally. I can actually split the view up to 16 times. I can choose to see different views of the same PDF at the same time, or I can choose to view two or more different PDFs side by side by choosing their tabs here. I can close the views by clicking this Close View button here. Finally, I can select the Sync button down here so that both views pan and zoom in unison. Now let's talk about zooming and panning. It's recommended that you use a three-button mouse with a scroll wheel in review. When you open a PDF, review will detect its size. Review will assume that larger width PDFs are large format drawings and mimic CAD navigation so that your mouse scroll wheel will zoom in and out dynamically and your left mouse button will pan. For a regular page size document, review scroll wheel will scroll between pages and the left mouse button will pan. You can revert the scroll wheel behavior temporarily by holding down the control key while scrolling, or change the scroll wheel behavior for that particular PDF by clicking these icons down here. The one full page icon sets the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out dynamically while the scrolling pages will set the mouse scroll wheel to scroll between pages. Regardless of what mode you are in, if you have a markup tool selected, you can pan by pressing down on the middle mouse button. This allows you to pan without having to drop your markup tool. Also, when you are zoomed into a PDF, double-clicking on the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel will automatically cause the PDF to fit to screen. I can also adjust the view in the view menu and select actual size, 
fit page or fit width. And I can adjust the page layout. Page layout determines how many pages to display. I can choose single, continuous, side by side, or continuous side by side. I can navigate between pages by using the scroll wheel or by using the navigation arrows down here to go to next page, previous page, first page, or last page. I can also jump to a page by entering the page number here. Alternatively, I can open up the thumbnails tab to view a thumbnail preview of all the pages in my PDF. I can click a particular thumbnail to view that page. Now let's switch back over to my drawing. Let's say I'm looking at this fireplace detail here. And then I want to pan over here to look at another area of the drawing. But then I decide I want to go back to the fireplace detail I was just looking at. I can do that quickly by selecting this Previous View button down here. I can also jump to the next view. If you have a PDF with bookmarks, you can go to the Bookmarks tab to view and select them. Also, if you have a PDF with flags, the Flag panel, which you can open by clicking this flag icon, will display the flags. You can click the flag icon here to jump to the associated page. Pages with flags will also display the flag markup in the Thumbnails panel, as well as a special thumbnail image to notify the viewer that that particular page has one or more flags on it. This concludes the Bluebeam tutorial video on Reviews Navigation. For more videos, please visit the Videos section of our website at www.bluebeam.com/videos. Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers!